How about the fucking NHL playoffs? Playoffs? Oh, first of all, congratulations to the Golden State Warriors. 73 fucking wins. 73 and 9. I got to tell you, I don't know. It took 20 years for someone to beat 72. Do you think somebody ever beats? I mean, they had single digit loss for the season. That's fucking unbelievable. That's that's about as borderline unbreak. I think that that really. Um, well, you know, so I don't know enough about hoop. How, who had who had the record before the Bulls? Like how long those records last? Um, Seventy three and nine. That's that's going to be a tough one. If basically not even the 96 Bulls won that many fucking games. Um, but, I, you know, those guys, if you had that carrot dangling in front of them, they'd somehow fucking figure out how to win 70. Somebody's got to go 74 and 8. I don't know that you can do that. Um, and I don't know that I know all the rules of basketball either. So take that with a giant grain of salt. Um, congratulations to them. And congratulations to Kobe Bryant, Hall of Fame career. Going out with 60 points on 50 shots, which I thought was perfect. You never considered your teammates your entire career. Why would you do it on your last night? <laughs> I thought it was the perfect way he went out. And I love that Nike commercial. The Nike commercial where he stands in the middle of the court and the Celtic fans, really an actor in Celtic gear, gets up and starts singing to him. I just, and all the fans around the league are singing how they hate him, but they really love him and respect him. And there's no other teammates, no other Lakers, no fucking nod to the past of fucking Magic and Kareem. No thanks, Phil Jackson. No nothing. Just Kobe standing in the middle of the court in the fucking Christ pose with his fucking arms out. It was absolutely fucking perfect. Great job, Nike. Great fucking job. Um... One of the greatest one-on-one -on -one fucking players you're ever going to see. One of the greatest outside shooters you're ever going to see. And uh, one of the biggest cancers in a locker room that ever fucking existed. More, he was sort of the second coming of Wilt Chamberlain as far as the, the points that he scored versus what the fuck he did in the locker room. And um, I, I just thought it was fucking perfect. He took 50 fucking shots. Ah. <laughs> uh. I don't think it could have been any more perfect. That was just, it was phenomenal. And it was, that is Kobe. He takes 50 shots, he annoys you, but he scores 60 points. You know what I mean? I honestly think that I could have played on a lot of those Laker teams because he, you know, he's not going to throw it to you anyways. I could have run up and down the court, my fucking pasty legs. How bad would my pasty thighs look in those fucking golden uniforms? Ugh. Unbelievable. Or even worse than when they had those white ones there for a while. The home white ones. It'd just be like, I don't know, you'd have that little bit of fringe to kind of break at the, at the end of it to break up the shorts and my fucking milk thighs. And then maybe I had some socks. So I don't know. I don't know. Jesus. That, even that vision is fucking disturbing to me.